and if the House if of the the Johnson recording is continuing, which you've told me that it is, Madam Chairman, are you turning your recording off? No. no. Your Good. Microphone off, I'll put on Johnson. the record for the media that are here um, that I believe this is an attempt to silence me on talking about the deficiencies in the temporary planning local instrument oh. that is coming forward for debate today. I raised uh, numerous questions about that matter um, in the briefing matter earlier today. Uh, Councillor Cooper cancelled that meeting, refused to allow me to answer questions. I have serious concerns about the temporary planning local law that is being put forward to this council today. Um, I believe that there are uh, significant problems with council's uh, provisions to allow fill in known flooding areas. I'm seriously concerned um, that this will have a detrimental impact on the residents of my ward. I am, uh, I am very concerned that we are going to have houses that will be raised uh, on <coughs> high levels of water <coughs> adjacent to houses that are not. Do you know I'm not continuing? Yeah, Madam Chair, I'm sorry. I believe that this council do adjourn for one hour. It is an hour and a half. I'm speaking now. I'd like to write as well. Madam Chairman, that's your uh, direction. I move that this uh, council do adjourn for one and a half hours. Second. Thank you. We move by the Deputy Mayor and seconded by Councillor Wines that we adjourn for an hour and a half. All those in favour say aye. 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 The contrary, no. No. The ayes no. have it. The dinner break will start when all the councillors have left the chamber.
motion for you to be suspended from council. It was upheld with a motion with majority councillors. I ask you to leave the chamber, meeting places, anti-chamber and public gallery for the um, eight day suspension. Johnston, what do you think about what's happened? Um, for eight months, I have been the victim of a political campaign against me to prevent me from speaking in this chamber. Um, this has been going on over and over again, and tonight I've had to take what I think are extreme measures to highlight, I've got to go a bit further, to highlight the biased chairing of the meeting by Krista Adams. This has gone on for eight months. Each time I'm ejected, I complain to the CEO of council. He says my complaints are frivolous and vexatious. I am the only councillor that is continuously expelled for this behaviour. I am the only councillor that continues to get um, the maximum penalty. Um, this is an abuse of Krista Adams' powers as the chairman of this council, and it's time that I took a stand. Um, she is exercising her powers and responsibilities as a chairman in a biased and incompetent political way, and it is being done to my detriment and the detriment of my residents. Should you have left before it came to this for police officers? I really think, well, I'm sorry that the Queensland Police have been troubled by this tonight, and I've certainly complied with their, uh, with their uh, actions here, but this continues to go on. There is no other way to draw attention to the biased and incompetent chairing of Councillor Krista Adams, who time after time ejects me from this council for exactly the same behaviour that you see from every other councillor in this place. If anybody thinks I was doing anything different to any other councillor in this place tonight, please put it in your news stories tomorrow. But all I have done tonight is to represent my residents, to stand up for them and to debate the important issues of this city, which include my ward, which has been flooded. Tonight it's about stopping me from talking about those important issues, including the temporary planning instrument that is proposed for debate in this council. How many times now have you been suspended? Uh, to be fair, I'm not entirely sure. I think it might be about 10. 11. 11. 11 times in the past eight months. 11 times. Before Krista Adams took the chair, I had never been expelled from council in this way. Never. But 11 times in eight months. Isn't that an excuse indictment excuse on your behaviour, though? So yep, well, sorry. Time to ask me, though, Thank Thanks, everybody. Let's go. No, she just. Uh, Tennyson, uh, Bedfield, uh, Yoronga, uh, Annerley,
way through it. So. Yeah, I think Oh, they just asked me for some basic details about what had happened tonight. So I just put on the record with them um, that uh, I believe that I uh, am being subjected to grossly political behaviour and to expel me from council. I've been democratically elected to represent tennis and ward residents and every two weeks without fail, um, Krista Adams calls for a motion to expel me from this council. Um, they've already been caught text messaging in advance uh, to organise this expulsion just a matter of weeks ago. Um, the Ombudsman uh, has agreed to investigate that matter um, and this is another example of the way in which uh, Councillor Krista Adams and the LNP are attempting to um, block my participation in a democratic meeting of this council. So what have the police said to you? Have they blocked you or charged you? No, no, uh, no. They've simply been called here at the direction of the Chairman of Council to ask me to leave the building, which I have done at their request. Is part of this your fault, the way that you react to it? Uh, look, I believe that there has been a uh, campaign over the past eight months by Councillor Krista Adams um, to use her powers as chairman in a political way to exclude me from the council meetings. Uh, prior to her election as the chairman of this council, I had never once been expelled or even warned from a meeting of council. Um, all of this has happened under Councillor Adams' direction. We know that she receives text messages from the Deputy Mayor, soon to be Lord Mayor, uh, uh, asking her to, uh, to punt me from the council meetings. We know that she acts politically. That is on the public record. There will be an investigation of this. Um, tonight uh, has been simply the response um, because it has gone on for so long and I'm here to do a job and that's to represent residents. And Councillor Adams and the LNP councillors continue to prevent me from doing so. What did the note say that Graham wrote to Chris Adams? I don't know, I didn't actually look at it. So I'm sorry, I, I didn't look. I don't know. And why tonight? Why did you uh, dig your heels in tonight? Because tonight there is so much uh, important matters on the council agenda, particularly the temporary planning local instrument for flood uh, flood developments in our area. 
Um, there are very important matters to be discussed. I certainly um, have had, despite six weeks of representation now on behalf of the residents in Johnston Street at Sherwood, no response from the Lord Mayor, the CEO um, or any other councillor uh, in terms of getting assistance for those residents to clean up. Three weeks ago in this place, the Lord Mayor said that he would help residents. There would be help from this council for them to clean up. Um, that help is not coming. Um, I had questions to go, as you saw tonight. I've got questions of this council and I'm not allowed to ask them. The Lord Mayor repeatedly refused to allow me to ask him a question tonight whilst allowing other councillors. And tonight I've been kicked out uh, for doing nothing different to any other councillor in this place. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry. Cheers. Yep. Thanks, See you guys.